Hey y'all, Pastor Zach here. Um, a topic of very basic and very important, one of the most important topics in the Bible um, is salvation. And it's been brought to my attention through some friends. Um, had a passing of a friend this week that I don't know if he asked Jesus into his heart or not. He went to church with me many times, questioned it, and also was silent about it when he did go. And he just recently passed away. And like I said, I'm not sure if he got saved beforehand because we hadn't talked much in the last few years, but I pray that one day I will see him again in heaven because Jesus is the only way. Only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ and living for him and getting saved. And a lot of people tell me, well, they've been baptized. They're good people. They do good deeds all the time. Well, that does not get you into heaven. Only Jesus Christ can get you into heaven. Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. John three sixteen and 17, one of the most recognized Bible verses, says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but through him to save the world. God loves each and every one of you despite your faults. He wants you to come to him. And you keep saying, well, maybe I'm too, I'm too young to get saved. I got plenty of time left on this earth. Well, you're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed even the next hour. What if you go out into a thunderstorm and lightning strikes you and kills you? You wasn't expecting that. Are you going to go to heaven when you die? You're going to go on a road trip. You're not expecting a drunk driver to come and hit you. That don't happen to people like you. Well, it could happen. If you die today, are you going to heaven? Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior into your heart? It's a very simple process. How do you get saved? First, you have to believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins. And if you truly believe that in your heart, you have to accept that free gift of salvation. You also have to confess with your mouth that you are a sinner. You have to tell God, yes, God, I am a sinner. I have failed you. I am not living for you. Please forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me, wash me whole. You have to confess all these things to him. And once you've done that, there's so much peace that will come over your body. I remember the day I got saved. I was 10 years old. I didn't want to go to church that day. It was a Bible school event. Grandma Praise the Lord. She always drug me to church. She had me go. I felt funny afterward. I just felt weird, uncomfortable. And my dad, he said, do you need to go back to church? Do you feel like you need to get saved? I'm like, yeah, I need to get saved. So we went back to church, and fellow deacon Harold Howley led me through the sinner's prayer, and I got saved that day. Ten years old, I got saved. Best experience, I felt so much joy. 
uh, my heart felt so clear. I can still feel that wonderful feeling. And it's very simple. And if you feel you need to get saved, all you have to do is pray this prayer with an honest, open heart to God. Dear Lord, I believe you died on the cross for me. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I have sinned against you. Please forgive me of my sins. Guide and control the rest of my life. Guide me in every step that I take. I am yours, Lord. Be my rock and my shield. And if you say that even that simple prayer with an honest, sincere heart, God will save you. And you're opening yourself up to so many blessings that God has for you. Just trust in the Lord. I love you all and God bless you.